I'm Laura Balzano. This is work that I did with Brian Erickson and uh, my advisor, Rob Noah. And it's on high rank matrix completion, or in other words, subspace clustering with missing data. So the motivating application is in networks, is inferring the topology of the internet. Um, and uh, the one way of, of inferring the network topology, uh, meaning the connections between uh, IP addresses and routers in the internet, is to place passive monitors near popular websites like CNN or YouTube. Uh, and then those, when an IP address in the internet requires, uh, requests a web page from um, that website, then that monitor can see how many hops away that IP address is from that monitor. And so um, using that hop count information, it can build a tree out from the monitoring point to all the IP addresses that requested that website. And you put monitors near many of these popular websites, you can collect data from many different IP addresses. People who ask from CNN and people who ask from YouTube and Facebook and so on. Now, uh, the problem with that is that uh, each monitor will not see every uh, IP address in the internet. It will only see the ones that requested uh, packets from that website. And so what you get in, as a result is an incomplete matrix of hop counts. Um, the, the matrix here would be a long uh, matrix where you have monitors uh, on the rows and IP addresses on the columns. So you have maybe 100 rows, maybe 1 million, 10 million, 100 million columns. It's a very, very long fat matrix. And many of the entries are unknown in this matrix. Um, now, this matrix in general is high rank. And so even though this looks like what's come to be known as the standard matrix completion problem, we're not able to apply low rank matrix completion techniques because the matrix isn't low rank. However, it turns out that in this uh, network problem, all the IP addresses that are within one subnet uh, have, if you, if you focus in on those IP addresses on this matrix, then uh, that submatrix would be, in fact, low rank. In this application, it's rank two. If we were able to cluster the columns by subnet, then we could use low rank matrix completion. But we don't know that clustering in advance, and that's what our work is trying to do, to simultaneously find the completion and the clustering uh, in order to complete the entire high rank matrix whose columns lie in a union of subspaces. So in order to do that, the first thing we have to do is uh, find seed subspaces, um, candidate subspaces, basically. We pick data points from random columns randomly from throughout the matrix. And uh, our theorem guarantees that uh, we'll pick uh, enough seeds so that there will be a good seed in every subspace. Um, then from there, we find uh, local neighbors, so columns which are not a very far distance away from the seed columns. And we build a submatrix like the one here, which may be a low rank submatrix. From those uh, candidate submatrices, we use matrix completion in order to find what uh, subspace spans by those columns, even though those columns are incomplete. And then uh, we have a can set of candidate subspaces, and we can prune those subspaces uh, by, by first discarding sub um, subspaces that are larger than the maximum rank given, and then by also discarding subspaces that are a union of the um, two or more subspaces that we've already included in the set. <laughs> now, uh, up till here, uh, the theory guarantees that um, we have all the K subspaces of interest. We've completed them, and that's all that we have left. We, we can identify exactly those K subspaces. And so from there, we can take each incomplete column, find the subspace that it fits, uh, and use that subspace to complete the column. And then we have completed the entire matrix uh, using this methodology. Now, the theorem that we have that goes along with this methodology says that in order to do that, we only need, um, when the matrix is little n by big N, so little n is the smaller number of rows, big N is a very large number of columns, then we only need little r, capital N, log n, 
uh, entries in order to complete the matrix, which is the same order as needed for low rank matrix completion. Um, and one reason why that's possible is because we have many, many columns here. For example, the assumption is that the number of columns is like polynomial in the number of rows, which is satisfied by the uh, uh, particular application that we're interested in. Um, so it's a very exciting result because uh, completing this high rank matrix with the same number of measurements that you would need to complete a low rank matrix. Um, and there's a lot of uh, work to be done based on this and uh, excited about where it will lead.